You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. I have got an update for you, and I am addressing the comments that I'm seeing pretty much daily here on our YouTube channel with a lot of you guys upset about GH not writing Bobby Spencer's death into the storyline, nor offering us a meaningful tribute to Jacqueline Zeman's passing. This week, though, on General Hospital, I felt like they were hinting to us that the closure that everybody needs may finally be on its way. Let's talk about what happened, what it means, and what to expect next. If you haven't, though, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our GH updates. If so, if you'll remember, Jackie Zeman's last appearance on GH was at Michael and Willow's wedding that aired on April 27th, 2023. Of course, no one knew at the time that they were seeing Jackie's last appearance after four decades of her on our TV screens as Nurse Bobby Spencer. This week, though, on Wednesday, Bobby was name dropped, and it seems to me this is a huge sign that we are finally getting what fans demanded for so long, a chance to say goodbye to an iconic character and the talented actress who brought her into our lives since the late 1970s. So now and then they'll mention, oh, you know, Bobby's still over in Amsterdam looking after the affairs of her late big brother, Luke Spencer. That's because the ABC soap killed off Luke's character, saying he died in a cable car accident in Austria. Later, it came out that Victor Cassidyne had orchestrated Luke's death, which begs the question of whether he is really dead or not, because the now dead Cassidyne was known to keep people prisoner and spread word of their death, like with Drew Kane, like with Jason. Victor was holding people, and he also had Peter working for him holding people, so... For now, though, we are operating under the assumption that Luke is really dead in that unfortunate Austrian event, along with others in the cable car with him that were collateral damage. So now Luke's widow, Tracy Quartermain, mentioned Bobby in the most recent GH episode on Wednesday, November 8th. So we saw Tracy overseeing her luggage getting packed up in her car, ready to take her to the airport. And Tracy explained she was off to Amsterdam to help Bobby sort through some of Luke's affairs. If Jane Elliott needed time off of the ABC soap, they would have explained her absence, I think, in another way. A spa weekend, corporate hijinks, anything really. But for them to specifically mention Bobby Spencer has me thinking... They're finally going to give us some closure on her and are writing a long overdue tribute to Jacqueline Zeman. I know many of you are frustrated that it hasn't happened already. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. I think the ABC soap was waiting until the core writers, the primary writers were back from the WGA strike to handle this. So We still don't know who was writing GH during the strike. Rumor has it that they had tapped people from the production side of the house, like producers, directors, you know, things like that. But they stopped displaying writing credits on the episodes once scripts ran out from the primary writers back on July 24th, 2023. So at that time, if you remember, Jackie Zeman passed away on April 27th, and just a week later, on May 2nd, the WGA went out on strike. Scripts were already written, though, through late July, so there was just not an opportunity for them to go back, and they're not going to rearrange scripts they've already written to add in a death arc for Bobby Spencer. From there, I've long suspected that they were holding Bobby's final character exit to be written by the core writers. Writers began returning back to work on Wednesday, September 27th, after 148 days out on strike. But I think what we're seeing now are episodes still written by the replacement writers, although the primary writers have been back for about five weeks. So, you know, they shoot four weeks ahead. So definitely those four weeks 
our old writer, our the replacement writers, but there continues to be no writing credits on the episodes. If you look at the beginning and end of the episodes, there's credits, there's producer credits, there's different things, and then there's actor credits. But there have not been writer credits since the core writer's last scripts aired late July. So once we start seeing those writer credits during the GH episodes, that is the sign that we're now seeing material that came from the core writers. And, you know, that means it's time for us to say goodbye to Bobby. And I definitely feel like that's what they're leading up to right now. Other than the lack of an exit storyline for Bobby and a tribute to Jackie, I've been overall pretty pleased with the replacement writer's work on General Hospital. But at the same time, I'm thrilled that the core writers are back because fans want their tributes, not only for Jackie Zeman, but also for Billy Miller and now Tyler Christopher as well. So just an off-the-cuff prediction After Tracy Quartermain talked about going to meet Bobby, I feel like they're going to say Bobby passed away in Amsterdam while Tracy was there with her and they were going through Luke's affairs, his mementos, his house, settling his estate, all that stuff. And then when Tracy's back to Port Charles, I do suspect we're finally going to get a memorial. When the core writers left, just FYI, there were roughly 12 weeks of scripts pre-written. We're now five weeks into their return, and I, I'm guessing that the replacement writers wrote ahead, but probably not as much as the core writers did because they're not experienced writers. I still feel like it could be another month before we hear a whisper of Bobby Spencer's tragic death, but we'll see. I've seen all the spoilers through November 17th, and there's no mention of Tracy or Bobby. So I kind of suspect it might be closer to the winter holidays, maybe closer to, you know, Christmas or New Year when the core writer's work is back on our TV screens and we hear more about what happened and the plan for a memorial for Jackie Zeman and a funeral for Bobby Spencer back in Port Charles. So... My next big question, though, is whether Tony Geary will appear at Bobby's memorial on General Hospital. I kind of doubt they'll reveal that Luke's alive and bring him back for that event because Tony Geary's made it very clear he doesn't want to work at General Hospital again. He was really burned out and sick of it. He showed up once when Jane Elliott retired from the soap and he was shown for literally 10, 20 seconds and he did not speak one word. So he came back for Jane, but he didn't say anything. So you never know. GH may surprise us. If not, and they do a video memorial for Jackie, the actress, that they play, you know, at the end of the show or something, I hope that we at least get to see him on that. I will let you guys know as soon as I have some more information for you when there are spoilers about Bobby and about us giving them giving fans the closure they want, that they need, and that they deserve for both Bobby Spencer and the legendary Jackie Zeman. But just based on this Tracy plot line, I feel like it's about to happen, you guys. I'm very encouraged by this, and I hope you are too. That's everything I have. Drop your comments below. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely come back soon to talk General Hospital with me. I'm here talking soaps with you guys seven days a week. And I love the conversation that we have together. Thank you so much for your comments and for listening. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 